Hello again, peoples of the internet. I'm Mo, and I am back with part two of my 2015 book haul slash 2016 TBR. Uh, and this is all of the books that are not fantasy books. So there's almost the same number as in the first video. This time there are 17 as opposed to 15. And yep, I'm just gonna go straight down the list. So the first one that I have is Silver Birch Blood Moon. This is a uh, collection of short stories written by various different authors. And I believe that they're all uh, focusing on fairy tale tropes and themes. I don't think that they're actual retellings of fairy tales, um, but I don't exactly remember right now. Uh, the next one I got is a nonfiction book, actually. Surprise, surprise. Uh, and it is Elements of Fiction Writing, Characters and Viewpoint by Orson Scott Card. So in spite of being nonfiction, it's about fiction. Um, but I, I had heard good things about this book that he had written on writing in general. And as some of you guys know, I did try to do NaNo this past year. I did not finish my book. I did write more than I frequently do, but uh, yeah, it's still nowhere near completion, so I'm going to continue trying to work on that throughout the year, and hopefully this uh, book will help to inspire me to write more. Uh, the next thing is Adela Cathcart. This is actually a classic. It was written late 1800s, I think. It's by George MacDonald, um, but it sounded really interesting in that it's a Victorian-era retelling of the Canterbury Tales. And I actually have multiple retellings of the Canterbury Tales on my TBR right now, but I haven't read the original yet, so maybe I'll get around to that this next year, too. Uh, the next few are all mystery books. I have The Secret Adversary by Agatha Christie. Don't know anything about this book in particular, other than that it's a mystery by Agatha Christie, and, I mean, Agatha Christie, you don't need any explanation for getting one of her books, right? Uh, the next one I picked up was The Haunted Bookshop by Christopher Morley, and I also have Trent's Last Case. I don't remember who this one is by, and I don't remember which one of the two it was. I did pick up one of them because it was blurbed by Agatha Christie, saying that she had really liked the book. So I thought, oh, well, if Agatha Christie really likes a mystery novel, you should probably read it. Uh, I don't remember which one of those two that was. The other one just had really good ratings on Goodreads. I have not heard of any of them previously. Um, the rest of them, I believe, are all science fiction books. So I have The Long Way to a Small Angry Planet. Obviously, there's been a lot of hype about this one on BookTube recently. Uh, it's a space opera about a bunch of people who are on this ship traveling to another planet to start a colony, I believe. And so it's mostly like uh, character driven and sort of social, how they're all interacting with each other. Uh, so far as what I've heard, but it's got really good reviews, so I'm looking forward to reading that. Uh, the next one, also speaking of really good reviews, is Ancillary Justice. Uh, this is also a space opera. I don't know a lot about it. I think it might be a revenge story, uh, and it's the first book in a trilogy, and a lot of people on booktube whose opinions I trust have said that they really liked this book, so hopefully I will be picking it up soon as well. Uh, the next one I know basically nothing about, and that is Starliner by David Drake. Other than that, I'm assuming it, it happens on a ship in space. Yep, that's all I've got. I'm pretty sure it was like 99 cents or something, and that's why I picked it up. Um, the next two are both by Stanislaw Lem, so they would have been written in like the 70s, I think. Um, and the first one is Solaris, and this is about people who go to a new planet and discover that the ocean on this planet is sentient. Um, and then it causes all sorts of different issues because how do you interact with a sentient ocean? I, I'm not really sure other than that. And then the next one also by him is The Invincible. And I believe this is about a ship that crashes on a planet and there's like large insect-ish alien animals. I'm not really sure but I've been wanting to read some Stanislaw Lem, so I picked these ones up. Uh, the next one has also gotten some booktube buzz, and that is Lagoon by Nettie Okorafor. Uh, 
she is an African author. I don't remember which country she's from right now. But Lagoon is a story about aliens coming to Earth, and except that it's set in Africa. So it sounds like it'll be fun and interesting and different from the other sort of alien-ish books that I've read in the past. Uh, the next one is Radiance by Catherine Valenti. Uh, this is actually one of the few newer books on this list. Just came out within the past few months. Uh, as many of you know, I am a Catherine Valenti fan. I love her prose. It's gorgeous. And this is... What is it? <laughs> I've actually started reading it already. It's a space opera alternate history mystery novel in which I think it's supposed to be set in sort of like the 1930s-ish era. Um, and it's about people who are like part of Hollywood and they make movies, except that in this world, people have already colonized the rest of the planets in our solar system. And so it takes place on a whole bunch of these different planets and it's surrounding the mystery of what happened to this woman who was a filmmaker who made documentaries and she was making a documentary on Venus and something happened and she died. And so the book is like, you're trying to figure out what happened. I'm about like 20% into this one right now. And I'm still kind of trying to figure out what's going on. There's been, we haven't stuck with a single character very long yet, but as usual, the writing is marvelous. So hopefully I will be finishing that one soon. Uh, the next one is A Borrowed Man by Jean Wolfe. I have yet to read a Jean Wolfe novel, but I have a couple on my TBR for this next year. Uh, the premise for this one just sounded really interesting. And what it is, is like, it's a futuristic thing where libraries have like clones of people who have died that like have all of their memories that are stay at the library as like reference material. And so there's this guy who's like one of these library clones and he's a clone of a guy who used to be a mystery author. And then this woman comes in and checks him out from the library because this crime has happened and she thinks that he can help to solve the crime. Um, so yeah, we'll see how this one is. I know some people really like Gene Wolfe and some people really don't, but the premise sounded awesome. So yeah, we'll see. <laughs> a few more. I have On Basilisk Station and The Honor of the Queen, both by David Weber. Um, these are the first two books in a series. I'm not really sure how long the series is. I feel like it's pretty lengthy. Um, it's a space opera series and it follows a woman named Honor Harrington who is in the military and she, I'm not entirely certain. I think something, she either makes a mistake or something gets blamed on her at the beginning of the first book. And she's essentially like demoted by being sent to this station out in the middle of nowhere, which is Basilisk Station. Um, but then like something bad happens and they're so far away that no one can help them and they have to like deal with it themselves um, is my understanding of how the book goes, but I'm not entirely certain it's been a while since I got this one. Um, but I know that they are considered sort of like vintage standard sci-fi, I believe. So yeah, hopefully we'll be getting into those. And I have two more, which I'm not actually certain what genres they are. So they're at the end of this list. The first one is The Girl with All the Gifts. Uh, this has been going around booktube lately. I know some people have liked it, some people haven't. Um, it sounds like one of those books where you're not supposed to know what the genre is at the beginning, but you like figure out as you read. It's sort of like mysterious. So yeah, I don't know much about it. And the next one is our Endless Numbered Days. And I believe this one, I'm not sure if it's fantasy or I thought it might have some like fairy tale tropes or themes maybe. I think it's about a girl whose um, father like takes her away to live in this like cabin in the middle of the woods where there are no other people around and tells her that they can't leave because the world has ended. But then eventually she leaves and discovers that he'd been lying to her and yeah, I'm not entirely certain, but I've heard a number of people on booktube recommending it, saying that it was really good, and it was on sale. Apparently, I have issues with not buying books when they're on sale. So, yeah, that was my book haul for 2015. If you guys have read any of these, um, you can let me know what you thought about them down in the comments, or if you're planning on reading any of them in the next year, let me know as well. 
And otherwise, I will be seeing you guys in my next and final book haul video for a while, which will be the books that I got for Christmas. So yeah, until then, happy reading everybody.